Greetings, cherished Christian friends. My name is John Field. I was a printer in London and Cambridge at Addle Hill near Baynard's Castle, as well as at St. Andrew's in the Wardrobe from 1635 to 1668. I printed many editions of the Bible and various works by Puritans and Reformed ministers of the Gospel, especially of the Westminster Assembly. One such noted work was from Dr. John Arrowsmith, who was an active member of the Assembly and preached to the Long Parliament on a number of occasions. It was said of him that he was of an unexceptionable character of learning and piety, an acute disputant and a judicious divine. He was an ornament to the Reformed Church in the seventeenth century. The work that I published for him in my day was called A Chain of Theological Principles. I am happy to inform you that Puritan Publications has republished this work in more modern English for your day and age. It is a very worthy publication, and hasn't been reprinted since my time in the seventeenth century. In following the Apostle Paul, who would lay no foundation except that of Jesus Christ, Arrowsmith introduces the fundamentals of the Christian faith in this updated and made easier to read theological work. He masterfully knits together a chain of theological principles, teaching and explaining the doctrines that defined the Reformation. Such principles include man's blessedness, which comes from God through Jesus Christ, the nature of Holy Scripture, the existence and attributes of God, the doctrine of election and reprobation, and finally the providence of God. He tackles the chief heads of the Christian religion, in which they are both asserted and proved by Holy Scripture. This work is available right now at Puritan Publications. They have published it in a hardback volume, as well as in electronic editions. You can obtain a copy through their website. This work was a compilation of lectures and sermons that Arrowsmith gave by way of his ministry in the chapel of the university on the evenings of the Lord's Day. And after giving them, they were compiled and drawn up into a complete body of divinity. The book is not unfitly described as a chain of theological principles. Every article of the Christian religion has something in it of principle to a gracious and holy conversation to which it is carried and directed. In this way, it is a chain linked by doctrine to lead us by way of holy walking. 1 Timothy 3 verse 16 says, Great is the mystery of godliness, God manifested in the flesh, etc. The Incarnation, Passion, Resurrection, Ascension of Christ and the like are all matters of godliness, because they tend to godliness in their nature and discovery, as also promote godliness in the true compliance and closing with them for every sincere Christian. King Jesus, by his Holy Spirit, set home the truths of religion on the hearts of all those who shall be made partakers of it. May you be blessed in your studies not only to know the truth, but to honestly live by those truths in godliness and holiness. Such should be discernible in every believer. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen.